So I've covered a couple of different ways to make LED edge lit signs. And you might have thought that we were done, but there's one more. And it's this. Now this in itself doesn't look all that exciting. It's just a light, but it's two colors. And if you want to find out how I made it, stick around. How's it going everybody? Steve here and welcome back to the shop. I'm finally able to get back to some project work again. I've been doing projects, but they've been for customers, so I haven't really had time to make too many videos, but I'm back. And I figured I would finish the end of the year with one more LED sign. And this one is edge lit. It's obviously two colors, it's red and blue, but there actually is kind of a third color. It doesn't show up on camera here. And that's purple. And it's really the layering of, of the red and the blue. And I'll show you how I made this. It's basically two pieces of six millimeter acrylic laminated together uh, and uh, two different strips of lights in the base. I'll show you how to do how I built the base. I'll show you how I wired everything up and mounted those LED strips. And I'll talk about why it's so bright compared to some of the other LED signs you might have seen. Now you've probably seen other videos on YouTube and other places where People have tried to make multicolor LED edge lit signs. And to be honest, I've seen them too. And I looked at them and, and thought, well, they were just kind of dim. They just really weren't that exciting. So I wanted to make one that in addition to being multiple colors is very bright. And here it is. It actually worked out way better than I expected it was going to. And you can benefit from this. So let's get started. All right, so we'll start, of course, with a bit of a design. And I modeled this in Fusion 360, you can see it here. And uh, I then subsequently exported each of the files to SVG so that I could cut them out of my laser. And you can see this is the actual assembled version of the base. And if I can keep Fusion from jumping around here, uh, you can see there's a stack of six three millimeter pieces of acrylic in the center. Now th the three in the middle have, have a notch cut out of them and that's so that the, the plug for the power can be mounted uh, seamlessly into the, into the base here. And then this piece in the center actually holds the LEDs and there's a little notch here to run the wires down to the plug uh, to keep it from interfering. And also on the side here, you'll see that there's, there's holes. The bottom two holes are to hold all of the base pieces together. And then the top two holes, you can put uh, bolts through and through the acrylic to uh, permanently fix them to the, to the base. Now, uh, the reason for that is if you wanted to modify this diagram, these, these drawings and put a hole all the way through uh, in the center on each side, you could then actually run uh, a wire or, or a, a rope through these and you could make a hanging sign. So you could turn this upside down and it would hang. Uh, and I've made those hanging signs as well, which is where the, the, the inspiration for this base came from. Uh, so that's the base. Uh, other than that, uh, there is the, the template for the acrylic and you can see uh, it's got the holes in it. I actually didn't show the holes at the top here, but there's also two holes on at the top and they're used to, to put uh, screws through to hold the acrylic together because there are, there's going to be two pieces of six millimeter acrylic here and uh, they'll be sandwiched together. So, so that's the design. I'll cut all this out and uh, I'll engrave a design on it and I'll show you what it looks like. So now we're ready to put all these pieces together. So I've thrown them all down on my workbench and uh, we'll start with one of the outside pieces and I'm just gonna run two M3 by 25 millimeter screws through the base and they act as pins to hold the rest of it together. And we'll start with uh, w with one of the edges that one of the center pieces that doesn't have the groove cut out of it and we'll actually uh, stack two of those in there and then we'll put the three with the groove in the center and again that's so that we can hold the the plug for the for the LED lights and make it all a nice seamless base and uh, so stack all of those up and and they just pile in there. You can see it all just kind of fits together like, like, uh, like Jenga. And then we'll put that final piece without the notch in it in, in the center. And then we'll put the other outside piece on. 
and you will notice that there's the holes for the base are there for the these actual bolts are closer to the edge than the than the, the other side so make sure you get them all aligned and then we'll cap it all off with some some m3 uh, nuts to tighten it all in and hold it together and that's pretty much our base assembled and uh, the next step is to get the leds put together and, and mounted in there okay so before we get going here we need to talk a little bit about the wiring the electronic components here so obviously we're going to need a piece of wire uh, to to solder this connector to the to the led strip and we won't need too much but we need we need something this is i believe 20 uh, 26 gauge or 24 gauge wire. It's pretty small. We're not drawing a lot of current here. Uh, we also will need a, a power connector. And again, I chose this one because it allows me to flush mount this power connector inside the mount. So it looks nice and neat. And of course, we're going to need some LED strip. Now the LED strip I chose here, you can see is, is fairly dense. Uh, a fairly, fairly dense array of LEDs. It costs a little bit more money, but it has the advantage of being slightly waterproof. And when you compare it to the typical kind of LED strip you're going to be able to buy on Amazon uh, for, you know, $8, uh, you'll see that for every LED on this one, there's, uh, what, four or five LEDs on, on the one I chose. So this one is substantially brighter and uh, you can certainly use something like this, but you definitely not, not get the same kind of light. So anyway, those are the components. We'll get them all soldered up and mounted and uh, our light will be uh, winding down here. The LED strip I used, you can cut to any length you want. You can see the, the little copper uh, indicators on the side where you can cut. And once you cut it, you then solder to those those copper things. And there's plus and minus on the one on the tape that I used here, the LED strip. The plus and minus are clearly indicated. And once you get it all soldered together and put a connector on the end, you can see I've taken that LED strip, the acrylic strip, and I've mounted one on. And then the, the second layer, the second LED strip, you can see it's a little more tedious. But what you're really trying to do is get it uh, just stacked on top literally of the previous LED strip you put there so that that the LEDs are as close together as they can possibly be so you're really overlapping the strips and once you have that you can uh, insert your your LED strip into the light base now grab the base that we put together earlier and uh, set it upright so that you can insert the light stick and you can see it just kind of notches in there uh, against the, the one end where the, where the tabs were. And we'll do a little bit of wrestling here to get the wire uh, and the plug put into that little, little slot on the side. And once you get it packed in there, you can see it's a bit of, bit of wrestling because it, it is pretty tight. Uh, if you shorten the wires up, uh, you'll have a little less trouble. I left them maybe a few millimeters longer than they needed to be. But once it's there, you're basically ready to plug the light in. All right, so we got the base all put together and the LED strip mounted, and we're ready to do an engraving of our actual sign. And what I did here in Inkscape was I loaded the image I created. I won't go through the, the setup of this image. It's pretty basic. I just stole a bunch of, of clip art and uh, pasted it all together here. So uh, the way this works is we want all of the blue uh, items to be engraved on one piece of acrylic and all the red on the other and we can actually see what these look like so so there's the blue and then the red is is this now you may notice the text appears on both and that's because what we're going to try to do here is simulate a purple color for the text so really three colors and when we do this and we sandwich it together both both texts on the red and the blue will be lit and you'll see it, it is a slightly different shade now you can tweak the shade a little bit by doing different levels of engraving on each layer so if you want it a little more red you can engrave the red layer a little deeper or vice versa on the blue so very simple now when you're cutting these things out so in my case the led the red led strip is behind it's it's at the back of the sign so what I'm going to do is I'll engrave the, the blue first, just like it is. 
And then for the red, when I do the red, what I'll do is I will use in ink in light burn, I will select all of this and I will use the, the horizontal flip and you can see it made everything backwards here. And this is so that when you put it all together, uh, the red and the blue will, will fit together. And of course these will be on the inside. So, so the text will be sandwiched in, in the middle as well. And both, both the inside, the front and back of the acrylic will be smooth and you'll see how it works out. It's, it's, it's pretty basic. Uh, so I'll do the engraving and the cutout here of the six millimeter acrylic. Now, if you have a 40 watt laser, uh, this could be a bit of a challenge to grunt through. Uh, if your laser is well aligned and, and clean, take your time and you might be able to chug through it uh, in maybe two passes. Uh, the cutout is the real problem. The engraving is, is pretty simple um, for any laser. Uh, now, if you have a diode laser, there are ways you can do an engraving on, on clear acrylic. Uh, cutting clear acrylic with a diode laser could be much more of a challenge. So I would say, unless you're willing to tinker a lot here, uh, uh, this project really isn't for a, a diode laser. Um, <laughs> sorry, we'll do diode laser projects uh, coming up, but, but for this particular one, you really need a CO2 laser. Uh, anyway, let me get this engraved and we'll put it together. And once we get both pieces of acrylic uh, cut and engraved here, we'll peel the backing off of, off of both of them and uh, we'll stick them together. They, they clean up really nice, so we're, we're not really hitting, uh, in my case with the settings I used, I, I wasn't really hitting the acrylic very hard, so it doesn't leave any, any hazing around the engraving. And w w we just sandwich the two pieces together and to notice now when we flip the red piece to in there, it's, it's now the text is the right way and we slide in those two little uh, separators on top that help and run a screw through each hole in, in the base uh, to hold the acrylic in. And then we'll also put some in the top and, uh, and then uh, once we get it together, it'll look something like this and we turn it on and you can see it's actually blowing out the camera a little bit there with the, in the man, it's a little bright. He's actually red, trust me. And uh, you can see the text is kind of purpley. It's, if you look at it straight on, so if you, if you drop down and, and look at it straight on, you'll see that it's, it's definitely a different shade than, uh, than the red or the blue. So uh, there's the light. All right, so as you can see, we created a pretty spectacular uh, two color edge lit sign here. Uh, now I'll put affiliate links to all of the parts and materials I used in the description down below. Feel free to use that if you want to help out the channel, but you can source these parts uh, in other places as well. Now, if you're a member, I'll put a package together with all of the design files, the light burn files I used, as well as the Fusion 360 project files if you feel like you want to make a change. Now, if you're not a member, uh, you might want to consider clicking that join button down there. It's $2.99 a month. It helps out the channel, helps me make more videos. And, uh, and it gives you uh, some additional perks, including access to all the project files. So I'll put a, a couple of links up above to the basic edge lit sign videos I did, a couple of them. Uh, feel free to go watch those if you haven't built an edge lit sign before. Uh, this one is a little more advanced, so you might wanna try one of those first. And with that, we can wind down. As always, get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.